Well gone, people. I'm here today once again in Finsbury Park, one of my favourite places for chicken shops because there's such a plethora of them. And speaking of favourite, we decided to come here today to Faves, formerly known as Favourite. They're closed, so we're not going to Favourite. But we will go to my actual favourite, Chicken Express across the road. But before we get into that, obviously, you see the tea, you hear the tune. That has nothing to do with crep check, but let's get into the crep check, yeah? Boom bow. On for today, I've got the Nike Air Max Tailwind 5 SP. You've probably seen the midsole on the SK Airs, the SK4. Is it four or five? I think it's five actually. Crips, you wearing today, my bro? Um, the Air Max Tailwind 5 SP. Hey, come on, come on. That was kind of a combination of the Tailwind 5 Plus and the Tailwind 5. It's cold, old school. I remember my brethren had it in primary school. I didn't have it. It was peak for me. Now I got it. Happy days. And they just turned four years old. I think it was last month. So happy birthday to them. Yeah, let's go to the chicken shop. You can see my meal right here. That's me. £3.50. So people, we're outside with my babes. <laughs> Bruh, chips look proper broke up. They are of that higher echelon, usually. They feel like they could have been top tier, but there's not enough substance to each one. It's like this, it's too skinny. They are kind of anorexic. The textures are elite, I can't lie. I do love these chips. Trying to be as unbiased as possible. Okay, my score for this, quickly, is right now they're 3.9, to be fair. Now, I do have to address the last episode where I don't know what was going on. There was chaos. There was chaos in the place. I wasn't in the right mind space. The school was, um, it was a madness. So just to be clear, for everyone who watches more than reads, I left, you know, my revised points in the comments. Nevertheless, on to the wings. Wham, glistening with a capital TH. Look at that. Look at that. Mm fine golden brown black pepper booming spice dead dead flavors live breading perfect textures oh my it's as long as i described it to me and as long as it looks it might have to just hold a 4.8 i feel like giving it less would be me lying to myself because i don't want to look biased but it's so loud it's exactly as loud as it looks it's it's but yeah, the spice level, listen, Scoville units, they were talking, they were talking. If I'm chatting nonsense, you will know. Cameraman, take one for yourself and have a try. Confirm to the people. Sometimes they think I'm chatting nonsense. No, you're not lying, man. 4.8. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Again, some of you, to be fair, some of you may say that the cameraman is also biased. Go and try it, because a lot of people chat. And a lot of people say, oh, I'm just guessing about this, I'm guessing about that. Go to the place and try it. <sighs> Getting into the burger. He is looking a bit squashed. I don't like the spacing, like, listen. <laughs> big man. Listen. Yeah, Shagri. Shagri. I don't know if it's because she was vexed, because she saw that the, the, the camera was like, don't film, rare tear. Sorry? Daini? Uh, take it away. Me? I don't want any camera. No. Please, can you stop? Cuz, there's bare space and two skinny strips. Condiment control is out of control. This is like Philip Burger bread. Like, the buns need to be smaller. So, the actual strips themselves don't carry any flavors. There's no heat, no peppers, no spice. Flesh is pretty dry in and of itself. It's peak. This, this, is, uh, this is a big L. With bread like this, and two strips and bare space. You do not want to come here and get a strip burger. Paparazzi on deck. <laughs> I think it's only fair to, it, it, it can, it's holding a three point, it's like a 3.2. It's like a 3.2. It has a lot of room for improvement to be honest. As you can tell from the shop, you saw the seats were rammed today. Prices, the best in town. 
but there's a lot of competition in Finsbury Park so don't be surprised if they start dropping their prices or to be honest after this they might start increasing their prices because if they see more people are rolling here they're thinking okay instead of just enjoying the extra traffic let's charge everyone a bit more than these two as well that's what Eden's did the shop overall seats are good prices are good they got the right condiments got the right liquids I think it, it I think it is actually like a 4.5 4.6 probably the best ratings a shop overall has got thus far that was me here today Finsbury Park once again there's always a lot of shops around here I think there's yet yeah, a couple more opened up recently so don't be surprised if you see me here in another 10 episodes or so that being said I, I am going to switch things up a bit next episode is going to be a very different episode but there's going to be there's going to be some hors d'oeuvres in between as well so watch out for the hors d'oeuvres and that's a big cat that cat is well fed is it well fed or has it been hunting well I don't know because they do go hunting I remember one time <laughs> story time I do remember one time I looked through my window and in my back garden I filmed it on a on a Motorola back in the day it wasn't a razor this was before razor days it was like a what was the name it was like a v3857 or something it was like a brick like the phone was like a brick and it was a a, a teal a very light teal type of color anyway basically I saw two cats and they broke I'm not sure if it was a rat or a mouse I think because of the distance and the fact I could see it moving and everything I assume it was probably a rat but they broke his back legs and they were literally they were playing tennis with it or volleyball near enough so they picked it up threw it the other one slapped it back to the other one I was like rah I didn't know they were bullies like that like I, I thought yeah the animal kingdom it, get, it gets rough it gets rough so when you see a cat looking big like that, he, he's, he's not eating whiskers. He's been... Do they actually eat rats though? Or do they just kill them? Do they? I've never seen a cat tear through flesh. Listen, people. Salad episode over there. Last week's episode over there. You might want to see the salad one. There's a, there's a lot of... Well, there's a lot of confusion in that episode. It's, it's, not, it's not your average episode, but you people asked for it, so there you go.